Former Alabama offensive coordinator Bill O'Brien has accepted the OC position with the New England Patriots, which means that Nick Saban and the Crimson Tide are now in the market for both coordinator positions. Uh, let me let me go and write this time down. It, now, since this is a college football show, we're not going to talk about what this means for the Patriots. Instead, we're going to discuss the Tide. Right now, after reportedly being seen on campus this week, most rumors point to former Tennessee head coach and former Alabama defense coordinator Jeremy Pruitt being given the reins back to Nick Saban's defense again, which we'll, we'll see how that NCAA stuff pans out sooner than later, I would imagine. But let's discuss the offensive coordinator position. And now here's a list of some names that have been brought up by multiple outlets. We'll go through them one by one. Brian Johnson, the quarterback coach for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, he was a former Dan Mullen offensive coordinator uh, and quarterbacks coach at Florida. It seems like he's getting a lot more pull in the NFL. I don't know that that one would actually happen. Uh, Jason Garrett, former Cowboys head coach that was Saban's quarterbacks coach with the Dolphins. Now, Jason Garrett has been in the Duke and Stanford head coaching job uh, interest, right? So he he's definitely interested in coaching in college football, and Saban has definitely spoken highly of him in the past. That's one maybe to keep an eye on, uh, because we all know what getting an OC position or a DC position with Alabama typically means. It, it means that you are going to move on ahead to a head coaching spot. Uh, Jason Garrett working inside a Saban system for a couple of years, uh, that is likely to uh, to be the next step for him. Freddie Kitchen, uh, the former Alabama quarterback, currently a senior analyst at South Carolina. He was the former Cleveland Browns head coach. He's also had stops with the Cardinals, the Cowboys, uh, Mississippi State, North Texas. Uh, here's the big one. He was a GA on Saban staff at LSU. Now, Freddie Kitchens, of course, again, former Alabama quarterback. That one could make some sense. Uh, we'll, we'll see exactly what ends up playing out there. Uh, it was not super successful as a head coach at Cleveland, um, other than when he was an interim, and, and that worked out pretty well. Obviously, he got the job for a full season, but it, it tanked at that point. So we'll see. Uh, Dan Mullen, former Florida and Mississippi State head coach. I don't think this is likely. It, Mullen seems to really be enjoying broadcast life. Uh, I don't think he's super interested in coming back to be an OC anywhere. Uh, one more year of broadcasting. He will be at the top of some of these head coaching boards. I think that's likely what his next step will be, if he's even interested in coaching. Uh, another name, Jeff Lebby, Oklahoma offensive coordinator, former Lane Kiffin offensive coordinator at Ole Miss, and he was the uh, Josh Heupel's OC at UCF. Hey, Lebby is good. He's at his alma mater right now at Oklahoma. Hey, obviously, his offense is... Hey, he, he understands the importance of running the football, which I think is something that Saban is certainly going to look for in this next hire. Uh, but how likely is he to leave a situation at his alma mater where he's already making really good money? Like I, we'll, we'll see about that. Cliff Kingsbury, former Arizona Cardinals and Texas Tech head coach. I don't think that he has to go back to the college ranks. I think he's going to stay in the NFL, but uh, we will see. Uh, another name, Casey Woods, SMU offense coordinator, former Gus Malzahn, director of player personnel at Auburn. He was a former tight ends coach and recruiting coordinator at UAB and at Missouri. So he understands the landscape of, you know, the state of Alabama. It, however, like it, one year as an offensive coordinator under SMU, they did do good things, but how much of that was him as opposed to Rhett Lashley? Eh, we'll, we'll see about that. Another name, Joe Brady, former LSU and Carolina Panthers OC. He is currently the quarterback's coach for the Buffalo Bills. I think that he wants to stay in the NFL. He's already gotten several interviews most recently with the LA Chargers. I would imagine he stays in uh, the NFL. I mean, we saw it. He, he came to college for one year and then bolted right back. And so there you go. Greg Roman, another former uh, NFL offense coordinator, Ravens and 49ers. So see, he hasn't coached in college since 2010, and he only spent two years at Stanford with Harbaugh. I don't see that one as being very likely either. And Byron Leftwich has been named as well or has been listed as one of these potential candidates. Uh, former Tampa Bay Bucks OC, has never coached in college football, uh, did his best work under Bruce Arians. As soon as Arians left, the offense tanked. Now, part of that wasn't necessarily his fault. Tom Brady is uh, aging, and of course, the roster talent was injured uh, a lot of the year at Tampa Bay this year. They did still win their division, so we'll see. I can't even begin to make an educated guess on who is actually going to get this Alabama OC job. Like, how many NFL guys really want to come back to the college game? Uh, because it's a completely different world now. And on top of that, which of these would be a good option if and when Saban decides to hang it up? Because that's something else that I would imagine Saban is starting to look at along with the school. You know somebody like Freddie Kitchen would love to get this job, but there are definitely some bigger names on the list. I, I would expect news within the next week on this one, uh, but not until then. Psst. Hey. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments.
Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.